and then. Hi everyone, this is Miss Beery. It is so great to see you. I hope that you are doing well and enjoying the weather outside. And history has been something we've been talking about over the last several weeks. And it's one of the most exciting parts about social studies because history means we get to talk about things that have already happened. And guess what? I know you as kindergartners or first graders or children in general and adults, we love to tell stories. How many of you have heard your grandmother or your mom or your sister or even you catch yourself saying the same story over and over and over again because it's so important to you or maybe just because you forgot you already shared it. Well, that is one way that we have learned is talking about your personal history. So history is such an important part of who we are because it reminds us of where we've been and it can also tell us even where we might be going. And you know what? There's a lot to talk about in history today. So one of the things we need to review is what is history? Take a moment and think about what have we learned? What is history? All right, take a moment and think. You're right. History is a story or a true story about events that happened in the past. And past means it already happened. And we learned that in order to talk about history, we also have to talk about time. And when we talk about time, time is what we use to measure and talk about history. So we learned that we look at time and measure time three ways. The first way is by looking at a clock. You're right. So looking at a clock means we can tell what hour it is, what minute, what second. And sometimes that's even important when we're looking at history and things that happened in the past. You know what might be important for you, your personal history when we're talking about time? Ask your parent or someone who takes care of you what time you were born. They might know off the top of their head. So time can be very important. The next way with it, we talk about time and history is by looking at a calendar. Calendars not only tell us about today and what's happening right now, it also tells us about what happened yesterday, what happened last year, what happened 20 years ago. Oh my goodness. So a calendar tells us the month, the year, the date, that's the little number that's in the box, how many days in the month we've been, and it also gives us the days of the week. Those might be important during history too. Every single year, you might celebrate your birthday. And if you celebrate your birthday, that's an important date because it's a time in history that we celebrate because you were born. You are special, and so that's an important part of your personal history and the people around you who love you. The third way we talk about time is by using our words. And we learned that we can discuss history or time by using the word before, during, and after, and we talked about that when we watched Puppy's Day. The other words that we might use are first, next, and last. So those are more words, but I kind of gave you a clue about what we're going to talk about today in history, and we said that we were going to talk about history some more, about what happened in the past. So we're gonna talk about then and now. So we're going to have two categories. And guess what? The word then and now are sight words. So you get to double dip. So when you see the words on the screen, guess what? You're learning a sight word and you're learning about history. How cool is that? So the word then, T-H-E-N, means it already happened. And you know what? We talked about that when we said we could talk about history and time using first, next, last or first, next, then last. So there's that word then. Then means it already happened. Then we can also talk about what's happening right now. And right now means right here when I'm talking to you right now. That's what now means. N-O-W spells now. So look at how cool it is. Today you get to learn both the sight word and you get to learn about history. So, if history tells a story about events that happened from the past, and we're going to use the word then and now, that means when we look at the pictures we're going to see in just a moment, you need to be thinking about, did it already happen then? Or is it happening 
right now. And as we watch the slideshow, I want you to give a thumbs up if it's happening right now. And I want you to give a thumbs down if it already happened then. So here we go. Let's go ahead and watch. that are in common or the same in the then pictures? What are some things you notice? You're right. A lot of them are in black and white. Not all of them, but many are in black and white. And that is one indicator that that happened a while ago. The other thing that you might notice that is um, different among the then pictures is the clothing. So a lot of the women wore long dresses and then some of those fashions change. They might be a little bit different today. So there's just different clothing differences. You might even notice just the styles were different. Maybe if they had glasses, the glasses were different. The hairstyles were different. And sometimes those things that were fashionable then come back now. So if you look at some pictures from the 1950s, Miss Fury has, I think they're called cat eye glasses, but they are from the 1950s, but I like them now. And that's history happening right now. Okay. Some of the other things that you might have noticed that were different is maybe just the social climate, the way that people got together. They didn't have access to technology the way that we do now. We're really lucky. We have things like computers. And if you're looking at pictures from when Miss Fury went to school and she was in elementary school, those pictures of those computers, the computers were really, really big. And so were the radios. You might notice people holding a radio on their shoulder in the 1980s. Okay, we don't even do that now. A lot of us just listen to uh, music on a regular radio in our um, homes, a cell phone or a tablet. We might just listen to music that way. So there's a lot of things that have changed over time. What are some things that are different about now in history? We discussed it a little bit. Take a moment and look at our now pictures. to look at our pictures that are happening right now, what are some things that are different from the past that are happening right now? Right, one of the main things that is different and that has just happened just recently in our history is we are now doing a lot of our education and learning on the computer screen. You get to see Miss Fury, but instead of in person, you get to see me on a computer screen and you get to watch me whenever you want. So. That is something that is new because recently we were just in a classroom and now you get to see me on a computer screen. So that is something that is very different. What else is different? Maybe our hairstyles, maybe our glasses, maybe our clothing. Okay, let's talk about what is the same. Well, one thing that I noticed, and I bet you did too, is that in one of the pictures, there's a bunch of kids and people 
surrounded by a puppy in a classroom. But well, one thing that I know that we have in common, we like puppies. We like puppies, we like kittens, we like baby animals, we love those things. So that is something that we have in common. Maybe some of our interests are the same. I bet some of the interests that you have in common with the children from the past and the children right now, I bet you both love to play outside. I bet you both love to play things like games and some of you love to read and some of you love to write and some of you love to do math and you're doing things like that at school, it just might look different. School today looks different then than it does now. So there's a lot of things you have in common and there are a lot of things that are different. So speaking of things that kids like to do from the past that kids like to do now is go do something fun. Because you know what? A lot has changed, but a lot is the same too. So have a wonderful afternoon and thank you for sharing this time with me as we have talked about history and I will see you soon. All right, goodbye.